Hello, welcome to the Mark Janad Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how hackers crack WPS and WPA2 Wi-Fi passwords. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So WeFit, WiFit, whatever you want to call it, is a tool to audit w WEP or WPA encrypted wireless networks. It uses Aircrack NG, Pirate, Reaver, T-Shark tools to perform the audit. This tool is customizable to be automated with only a few arguments and can be trusted to run without supervision. So, uh, you know, again, it's, it's, a, it's another wireless auditing tool that comes prepackaged in Kali Linux. This is perhaps the easiest tool so far in many estimations and many people's opinions. So seeing as it automates the entire process, making it much easier for penetration testers to quickly test security of wireless networks, right? So. You might be wondering if it's okay to display the SSIDs and B SSIDs of other networks. To be honest, anyone can open their laptop and find the same information. So even, you know, freely available on, uh, you know, wiggle.net, however, you know, I'm not going to display anyone's WPE or WPS networks since they are vulnerable to attack. So let's talk about this setting up. Open the terminal and type WeFit. WeFit will automatically execute and begin searching for wireless networks by putting up your wireless interface into monitor mode. WeFit will display networks in order to, you know, signal their power, right? In the order of their signal power. Depicted in the image that's on the screen, WeFit displays information about the extended service set identifier, also known as ESSID, which are the, you know, the network na names. If the network name can't be found or it's hidden you know, it's a hidden network. WeFit will display the MAC address of the access point. We can also see that the channel and encryption type is displayed because WPS is notoriously insecure. There is a column called WPS. You know, this tells you that, you know, if the AP has Wi-Fi protected setup, WPS enabled. It's very easy to crack WEP and WPS networks. So if you're only concerned about WEP and WPS networks, then you can open up a terminal and type WeFit, you know, WEP or WeFit WPS. And Peter, you could put those on the screens for the users, right? An important column is the client column. WeFit will display a client if it captures a device on a particular network. This is important because in order to crack WPA slash WPA2 networks, WeFit sends a deauthentication frame to the client. When the client automatically renegotiates with the AP, WeFit captures the four-way handshake and saves it to a capture file. Afterwards, WeFit brute forces the handshake with a dictionary file containing a long list of known passwords. You're going to want to press Ctrl plus C when you want to end your scan. So before we get into it, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Guys, this is to be done ethically, not non-ethically, right? So let's get into it. The only way to successfully crack WPA slash WPA2 networks using WeFit is, you know, there is a weak password present. Other, you know, otherwise, good luck. Select the target number of your network, you know, you or if you want to attempt to crack every network, choose all. Choosing all networks will be a much longer process. And of course, you don't have permission to target every network. So probably don't do it. So choose the network you have permission to perform on by entering the target number and pressing enter. Try to choose a network where there is a client associated with the AP. Otherwise, you'll need to wait. WeFit will listen for a WPA handshake capture on the network you choose. Okay, so you're going to want to make this note, right? I already had a previous capture file on the network. So I choose to capture quote unquote again. WeFit will send the authentication frames to the client to disconnect it from your network. When the client reconnects the handshake is captured, the handshake is stored in a capture.cap file that you can further analyze. After that, WeFit attempts to crack your passphrase using aircrack ng by default and a dictionary file. However, you can you you can also use Calpatty, Pirate, or T-Shark to crack the passphrase. If the passphrase is strong, your best bet is to try another attack option, you know, the Calpatty or T-Shark, update your dictionary file to something better or move on. Try using the rockyou.txt file located in the user sh slash shared slash wordless slash, slash rockyou.txt gz. You know, pirate is a definition, you know, it's, it's a good option, right? So, you know, try entering the terminal we fit, you know, uh, in Peter, you can put that on the screen and see if this yields any different results. Instead of using aircrack ng, we fit will use pirate. 
the the dict command allows you to specify a particular dictionary file you want to use if the attack is successful the passphrase will be displayed at the bottom of the terminal now let's get into cracking wep so consider that wep networks are extremely vulnerable to attack all wep networks should be blanked out if the network you have permission to crack is using wep you can select the network and we fit will initiate a wep attack you can specify which WEP attack you want to use. Fragmentation, cathelite, chop chop, etc. Right? So here is how it should look. And Peter, you could put this on the screen. Now let's get into cracking WPS. WPS networks are, are also extremely vulnerable to attack. Therefore, they should also be blanked out. To crack WPS networks where WPS is enabled on the APs, you follow the same steps, you know, that I previously said. Select the target number of the network with WPS enabled and press enter. WeFit uses an online WPS pin brute force attack to, you know, by default. The bad thing about this option is that many APs have an anti brute force mechanism seeing, you know, as WPS was deprecated long ago for its inherent eight digit pin security vulnerability. So it would be better to use the WPS pixie attack. And that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Once again, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and like button. Was there, was there an easier option you feel that I could have done? Or, or, or was this option trash altogether? Please let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation started. So again, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Also, please share this content on other uh, platforms, etc. So we can have this conversation at a global scale. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video. Oh, also, I'll be going... Uh, I'll be doing live streams uh, three times a night moving forward. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that. So thank you.